Today, Seth Spike Hacks is at over 1 million subscribers, and I still can't believe it. Three years ago, I never could have dreamed of all the things that have since transpired. From the start, I was always excited to click the publish button and show you guys what I had spent a week creating. I never thought it would become my full-time job, or that I wouldn't be able to go anywhere without being recognized. It's been a wild ride, and it wouldn't have been possible without you. Thank you. As I approached 1 million subscribers, I decided to dig into my analytics and find out what made so many of you click subscribe. Over the lifetime of the channel, what 10 videos were most responsible for my subscriber growth? I'm going to tell you, and spoiler alert, more than one of them were from the 10 Hacks series. Number 10 was a 10 Bike Hacks video I posted in May of 2017, titled 10 Bike Hacks for MTB, BMX, and Beyond. This particular video covered everything from hiding a first aid kit in your seat post, to making a dummy hub out of a piece of garden hose. In the video, I pretended to steal the garden hose from a neighbor, and I recall at least one commenter thinking I was serious. Number 9 was also a 10 bike hacks video, titled 10 bike hacks for MTB and beyond. In this video, we cleaned a chain with a toothbrush, cracked a bottle open with a pedal, and even glommed some honey packets from Panera Bread in place of costly goo packs. Again, the humor was lost on some. Number 8 was a van video, titled Cutting a Hole in Alex's Van. And not being one to clickbait, we did exactly that. This was one of the few transitional videos I did during Alex's van build, and it was definitely the most nerve-wracking one for Alex. Number 7 was a Berm Creek video titled Backyard Mountain Bike Trails with Sicknick Table. Apparently I had most of you guys at Backyard Trails, because it wasn't immediately apparent what a Sicknick Table was. Now we all know what it is, and I can't help but wonder how many other Sicknick Tables might be floating around. Number 6 was titled $149 Bike First Mountain, otherwise known as the Walmart Enduro. Alex and I descended over 3,000 feet on Walmart bikes, and I ended up wrecking both my hands squeezing the brakes. To this day, my finger gets stuck closed. Even Walmart acknowledges that these bikes aren't made for off-road use, so it's not like I was doing any kind of investigative journalism on the topic. More like trend chasing and clickbait. I won't be doing any more content like that, but if it brought you here, I hope you've been enjoying the new stuff. Number 5 is another Bike Hacks video creatively titled 10 More Bike Hacks for MTB, BMX, and Road. In this video, I built my famed 2x4 bike stand, which unintentionally became one of the easiest woodworking projects on the internet. This was a big hit, so I continued building really simple things in later videos. Number 4 was that roll-in I added to the drama drop, titled Backyard MTB Drop with Steep Roll-In. I never dreamed this video would end up being such a classic, but it had a great thumbnail, a fun concept, some DIY, and some great clips of Bobo trying the roll in. Oh God! <laughs> Number three now has close to four million views and is titled "10 Ridiculously Cheap Mountain Bike Upgrades." I took this title to heart, as most of the items barely cost anything. But this video hit the sweet spot for newcomers, who first wrecked themselves financially buying a bike, and then had no budget left over to pamper said bike. I'm making a list for another one of these this winter. Number 2 was the first van video I made with Alexander, titled Building a Camper Van for Alex to Live In. This was one of the biggest projects I've ever embarked on for the channel, and it strangely had very little to do with mountain biking but it seems that many of the topics that surround mountain biking are indeed interesting to this audience. Finally, we get to number one, which is just a bike hacks video titled 10 Hacks for Mountain Biking and Beyond. I guess he came for the thumbnail and stayed for the peanut butter and jelly burritos. In any case, I'm glad you're still here. To celebrate 1 million subscribers, I had these Berm Creek shirts designed by none other than Sketchy Trails. The black and white version will be available indefinitely. 
but this color batch is limited for only 7 days to celebrate the 1 million mark. I also have some other new stuff in the store, including toddler sizes, which have been much requested. So check the description for detailed links to all of this. I know I already said this, but thank you. Because of you guys, I get to do what I'm passionate about every day. If you keep watching, I'll keep creating. And hopefully, you'll welcome the next million people here with open arms. I know I will. Thanks for riding with me today, and I'll see you next time.